Hi, my name is Henry Funke and I'm a training coordinator for the Sheet Metal Workers Local 104 and Barrier Industry Training Fund. I've been an active member of the Sheet Metal Workers Union for over 41 years now, working in the trade out in the field, in the shop, and in the office. And at the same time, I was also an apprenticeship training instructor for 32 of those years. I taught part-time first for College of San Mateo and then for Foothill College for evening courses for apprenticeship instruction. And then about 10 years ago, I was offered and took a job as a full-time instructor and coordinator for the training fund. In high school, the focus for me at least was on what they call college preparatory classes. I did enjoy math and I also took electives of mechanical drawing or drafting, which I enjoyed doing. And at the time that was still done on a drafting board with drafting equipment and pencils, uh, not using computers like they do today. Uh, of course, I wound up directly going into college afterwards and my intent was to become an architect or an engineer of some type. I did complete two years and received at the time what was called my drafting certification. But unfortunately at the time I was also working full time at nights because obviously there was a obligation financially as well as tuition costs for college at the time. And a friend of the family talked to me about apprenticeship programs, specifically the sheet metal workers program. I didn't really know anything about it. Information was never really given in high school regarding that. But it sounded uh, appealing, uh, the fact of being able to work during the day and uh, receive pretty good wages, and also attend part-time courses at night, which were college credited, and also could have been applied to a, or were applied later on towards a future associate's or bachelor's degree. So I went ahead and applied for and entered the sheet metal apprenticeship program. And one of the things that was really an eye opener was the fact of all the different types of work they do. It's a little known trade. I wasn't aware of what they did. I knew what an electrician was or a carpenter, but had no idea about sheet metal. I just want to show you a short little video to give you a better overview of what it is a sheet metal worker does. Are you ready to perform valuable work? Work that will make a difference in your community. Work that you'll be proud of for years to come. You have every reason to consider an apprenticeship with the Union Sheet Metal Industry as your next step in life. When you commit to becoming a craftsman with the Sheet Metal Workers Union, you will discover how you can make a contribution to yourself, your future, and the world around you. Are you ready to discover a craft you can commit to? A craft that will empower you with the skills and knowledge you need to make your contribution? If you are, we are ready to discover you, commit to you, and contribute to your future. One of the things I found out about my career in the trade uh, that was challenging actually quite a bit was not just the initial five year training, because there is quite a bit that you need to know. We do make good wages and for that reason, we're expected to have good skills and good knowledge as far as related to our trade. But what I really liked was the aspect of that diversity of different things you can do, depending on how much uh, you want to, let's say further education. We do offer classes after your basic uh, apprenticeship requirements and becoming a journey person. Uh, I've been going to school uh, classes nonstop pretty much my entire career to better my knowledge depending on what was uh, upcoming as far as emerging technology or changes in the industry. Um, obviously, hand skills are something we use in the trade and also um, what we call applied math skills. You know, the hand skills will be developed on the job and during class and shop training. A basic foundation of math is all that's required because all the additional math skills and trade applied math will be taught to you during the program and during your training. Emerging technology has made an impact on our curriculum. So we do uh, offer classes or actually part of our training now would be on computer aided design. And of course, there's all additional classes. Basic computer knowledge or skills would be good. Uh, Excel is something we use quite a bit of, and obviously uh, Word and Outlook for communication skills. So I've always thought of an apprenticeship as another type of a four-year degree. 
we do get completion certificates from Foothill College for accredited courses, uh, you know, from California Division of Apprenticeship Standards, also one from the uh, Department of Labor, and then also from the International Training Institute. So it's a lifetime career we're talking about. Uh, it's something that you focus your training for five years, whether it be on the job and in class geared towards what you would do for a lifetime career. It's not just about learning enough skills for a single job or an employer. I talked about the excellent wages. Right now our starting wages are at 27.62 for a first year apprentice. And what you see on the right total package is the added benefits of medical, uh, dental, and also investment um, 401ks and we have multiple pension plans. and. You receive structured wages every six months. You get a 5% wage increase as long as you've completed your courses and met your requirements. And right now our current journeymen are making uh, $64.06 an hour and their total package being $110.89. So there are good wages, but then like I said, that's one thing I've liked about this trade is just a lot of um, skills you need to gain and a lot of knowledge. And it's all available for you to learn. We have a training website if you're interested in seeing some more information. It's smw104training.org. And it's a good website. Um, there's videos, there's explanations. It talks about the different career path options you have uh, for entering the apprenticeship program. So if you like working with your hands, uh, you enjoy technology, you like applying yourself uh, intellectually and obviously seeing results of what it is you've either uh, designed, uh, fabricated, or installed, I think the Sheet Metal Workers Union would be a good career option. So hopefully I've kind of planted the seed here and it might be something you'd want to consider possibly for the future. So thank you for watching this video and good luck on your future.